Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Bronson Shavitz with Shavitz Heating and Air Conditioning, Chicagoland's trusted name in heating and air conditioning since 1904. We often get a lot of people uh, calling us and asking us for advice um, and explanations about different types of furnaces out there and uh, what types of furnaces we recommend. So uh, today I just want to um, offer some explanations about some of the terminology that's used in our industry. Um, we often get questions about multi-stage furnaces or two-stage furnaces or even modulating furnaces. So I want to take a little bit of time today to explain what those terms mean and uh, help you decide whether or not that's going to be a good fit uh, for, for you, your family, and, and to help heat your home. So the best analogy to describe what a two-stage, multi-stage, or modulating furnace um, is, is to actually use your car's heating system. So a single stage furnace would be similar and, and that is what most people have in their homes today. Uh, this is probably what you have in your home now. So a single stage furnace is kind of like if you got in your car on a cold winter day and you turn the heat full blast to heat your car up as quickly as you could and then once you're comfortable you turn it all the way off until you got cold again and then had to turn it full blast until you, you know, were warm and turn it all the way off again. That's how most home heating systems work. Um, the obvious drawbacks with a system that operates like that is it's going to be louder. It's going to be uh, not as comfortable because you're going to have high and low, high and low swings in temperature. Um, it's also going to be, uh, you know, a less reliable way to heat your car or your home because um, the components have to go full blast and off, full blast and then off. It's kind of like uh, stop and go traffic in the city versus highway mileage. As you can imagine, you know, if you're running in a smooth, consistent fashion versus start, stop, start, stop, uh, your components are going to last longer and, and work better uh, and be there when you need them on those coldest days. Um, as you can also imagine, start, stop, start, stop is going to be less fuel efficient than a highway mileage, a smooth, consistent run time. Um, you know, similar to your car where they list actually it's the same car, it's the same engine, but they show you the fuel economy, your, your, your miles per gallon in the city and stop and go traffic versus your miles per gallon on the highway. So a system that can run longer um, versus start, stop is going to last better. Uh, it's going to deliver a higher level of comfort. It's going to use less fuel. So in your car, what you really do is you turn the heat on full blast to warm up the car quickly, and then you turn it down to low. Usually when you turn that down to the low, your hand goes to the volume dial to turn the volume down because you've blasted your radio because it's so loud and high, and it's much quieter, obviously, in low speed. Um, so that technology that we've used to heat our cars for years and years um, is starting to become very widely accepted and, and pretty common in uh, furnace technology and that's where the two-stage, multi-stage or modulated furnaces come in. So most multi-stage furnaces are two-stage so they have a high and a low. So uh, one thing to note when your furnace is properly sized, it should be properly sized to heat your home on the coldest day of the year. Um, so in some areas, it might be sized to heat your home down to negative 10. Here in Chicago, we only get a handful of days out of the winter that are single digits or colder. You always remember those days, but um, really we spend 95% of our winter uh, much warmer than that, which means that that furnace 95% of the time is way too big. Even if it's 20 degrees out, that may be cold for us, but that's not really that cold for your furnace. So then what happens, much like the car analogy, your furnace at home blasts a lot of heat into the core of the house. Your house heats up relatively quickly, and then the furnace shuts down. So now you're getting that start, stop, start, stop. The furnace isn't running as long as it should. Again, it's going to eat up more fuel and cost you more in your gas bill. Uh, it's going to add more wear and tear to the components. It's not going to last as long. Um, a couple other issues that it causes is by not running long enough, it actually um, 
makes your humidification system less effective. The majority of, humidif of whole house humidifiers um, are activated when the furnace is running. If the furnace heats your home up real quickly and the therm thermostat shuts the furnace off, most times your humidifier hasn't run long enough to put adequate humidity into your home. So it feels drier, you're using a lot more lotion in the winter, in extreme cases there's static electricity. Um, but the effect you might not know is the drier the air is, the cooler it feels. Um, you've been in those hot, humid, muggy, high humidity days where it just feels warmer than it is. Well, the opposite is true. Um, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. The drier it is, the cooler you feel. Um, the problem is in the winter when the air is dry, you actually have to set the thermostat a couple degrees higher to feel comfortable. Well, if your furnace runs for short periods of time and then shuts down, now the system hasn't run long enough for your humidifier to provide that level of comfort. And you actually end up spending more on gas because you turn the thermostat higher. Um, if you could extend the runtime uh, with a multi-stage unit, now your humidification gets a lot more opportunity and a lot more time to provide sufficient humidity into the air. It's healthier, it's more comfortable, and that also allows you to set the temperature down and feel the same level of comfort and save money on your gas bill. Um, Multi-stage furnaces do provide a better level than single-stage furnaces, a uh, better level of comfort. So a single-stage furnace um, is gonna heat the core of the home up uh, very quickly. Um, some situations, the furthest rooms from the furnace uh, require longer run times. That heat has to warm up the ductwork all the way up there. Uh, and it just needs to run longer to provide sufficient heat for that upstairs bedroom. And if the furnace runs for a short period of time and heats up the core of the house, those upper rooms um, haven't run long enough, haven't received enough heat for them to be warm. So a multi-stage furnace allows for longer, more consistent, more even run times which allows the furnace to uh, you know, warm up that ductwork and provide adequate heat to those upper rooms uh, so they can be much more comfortable than with a single stage. A few other benefits that a single stage, or I'm sorry, that a multi-stage system delivers is by running longer, um, that furnace blower system, uh, the fan is going to be moving more air um, past your furnace air filter uh, and your furnace air filter is going to be cleaning more particulates um, out of your air uh, and providing cleaner air to your home. Uh, so longer run times um, provide, um, as I said, more uh, better humidification, more even heating um, and better air quality uh, depending on the quality of your air cleaner. Um, so that's the benefits of the multi-stage. Um, one thing I might, I, I do want to add is uh, you don't need to, to set like your car the heat to high and low stage. Uh, the furnace is going to be smart enough to do that automatically. Um, some furnaces have better um, uh, learning features. You know, some just run in low speed for a certain amount of time and go into high. Others can actually kind of learn your home uh, and based on the outside temperature and how it's been heating recently. Um, and it's gonna automatically select whether it's gonna be best to go into low or know when it's gonna need to go into high to both get the longest, most consistent runtime and the most highway mileage, as well as provide enough heat to heat your home even on the coldest days. So that's multi-stage. What about modulating? So when I say multi-stage, most furnaces in our market, in our industry, are two-stage. They have a high speed and a low speed. Well, if a, just two speeds, a high and a low, are good, having a complete modulating, uh, you know, whole variable list of speeds or, or amount of speeds is going to be even better. Um, so modulating furnaces can ramp up or ramp down based on the outdoor temperature and how your home is heating um, and how much it's cooling off to much more precisely match how much heat your home needs. Um, on a 40 degree day, 
it may be running at a medium. And as it gets colder, it'll slowly uh, ramp that heat output up uh, so that you can get the most run times. It's gonna run at the quietest noise levels. Um, it's gonna deliver the most, uh, modulating furnaces are gonna deliver um, the best, uh, the most even temperature distribution. Um, they're gonna maximize the use of your humidifier. They're gonna maximize the use of your air cleaner. Um, they're gonna maximize uh, you know, the longevity of the parts because you're gonna get less start, stop, start, stop. And they're also going to um, be the most efficient, uh, meaning the lowest utility bills for you. Um, so if you wanna get lower utility bills, if you're gonna be in the home for a long time, and if your home has any issues with uh, uneven heating or poor humidification, it's definitely something that you should consider. Um, so hopefully that helps give you guys a, a little bit better understanding of what multi-stage and modulating furnaces are. And uh, for more information, check out our website, www.shavitz.com. And uh, we look forward to uh, working with you in the future. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.